Hello everyone, my name is Facey Pace and welcome to a theory video of mine where I'll be talking about Necrozma. Now there are not many information about this Pokemon, but all I can do for now is gonna talk about the Generation 7 Pokedex entries. So let's start with Pokemon Sun. Reminiscent of the Ultra Beast, this life form, apparently asleep underground, is thought to have come from another world in ancient times. Now let's go over to Pokemon Moon. Light is apparently the source of its energy. It has an extraordinarily vicious disposition and is constantly firing off laser beams. So basically, nothing much is known about Necrozma. Now which is why I have done some research on him. Firstly, its origin may have come from the concept of prisons and light refraction. His name origin, Necrozma, may be a combination of Necros, ancient Greek for death, or Kuro, black, and Prisma, German and Dutch for prison. Well, if that is some helpful things we know about him, but really guys, I don't know what to say about this thing, but I think there's more to it. So let's start with where we can catch Necrozma, which is why I have done some research on the name 10 Carat Hill. Obviously enough, we do not have to look up 10 or hill, which is why I just looked up carrot. So let me read the Wikipedia entry of carrot. The carrot is a unit of mass equal to 200 milligrams and it is used for measuring gemstones and pearls. Now wait a second, what is this? Gemstones and pearls? Gemstones are able to break light. And since Necrozma is able to break light since he is kind of like a prism, we should be able to find something on the internet about black gemstones, I guess. Now I looked into the internet and found out that opals aren't deathbringers. Now you may have noticed that Necrozma doesn't resemble an opal, but what I can surely say is that he resembles a gemstone. Which is why it is perfect that we can find it on 10 Carat Hill. Basically, Necrozma is a deathbringer. Now let's talk about why he could be a deathbringer. Firstly, let's talk about its design. We now know for sure that he resembles a gemstone. And he is colored black, which resembles death in many countries around the world. Now let's look at what it can do. Basically, Necrozma has a big prism on its back. It then breaks the light into different wavelengths of light. This also happens naturally on Earth causing a rainbow. This also happens naturally on Earth, a rainbow. A rainbow is a meteorological phenomenon that is caused by reflection, refraction and dispersion of light in water droplets resulting in a spectrum of light appearing in the sky. But what has that to do with Necrozma? Keep in mind that Game Freak's project name for Sun and Moon was Rainbow. So why is Necrozma the bringer of death? Well, that's easy. Light was created by God or Arceus, we don't know. And when something or someone happens to take away the light and breaks it into many pieces, light will be gone, causing life to remain in the dark. Basically, the sun will be gone and the moon cannot be seen without the sun. All life on Earth will not be able to exist anymore and Necrozma has brought death to everyone. Many people thought Marchetto was going to be the third legendary, but I can tell you guys Necrozma is. Believe me guys when I say Necrozma is going to play a huge role in the next Pokemon games. That's all we know about Necrozma for now guys, but I will be coming back once I find out more on Necrozma. And I will expand this theory once we know more. So I hope you like this theory of Necrozma and are all ready for new theories on Pokemon Sun and Moon. So why not join us on many more theories to come. I got one more thing for you guys before this video ends and that is this picture guys. I'll leave the rest up to you. So I hope you have a good day. I'll feed us in.